Hi everyone, happy Monday. Today we're talking fragrance news, specifically going over fragrances that have been announced over this past week. This is a weekly series that I do here on this channel where every single Monday we talk about what's new, we have a little bit of a commentary on it, we discuss what we like and what we don't like about these new releases. This is essentially a smash or pass news series. So if that sounds good to you, then do keep on watching. But if this is your first time on this channel, hello, my name is Anya. I love fragrances and I talk about them here every single weekday Monday through Friday along with a ton of bonus content in between and additional content posted on TikTok and Instagram so if you're interested do follow me there on Anushka Fragrances but without further ado let's get into this week's video because we have quite a few new releases that I'm really excited to talk to you about first up we have a new fragrance from Argos this is called Charon's Veil vale. if you're unfamiliar Argos does a lot of fragrances inspired by I think Greek or Roman mythology and in this case they are inspired by uh, the afterlife. So this perfume is inspired by the process in which souls passed through to rest and as a result the bottle looks like this and the notes itself contain notes of top notes of rose a mid of patchouli oud cedar and sandalwood and then a base of labanum and saffron so argos is a brand that i personally have not tried much from however i have sampled a few of their fragrances and i really like what i have tried uh there is another fragrance by them that's inspired by i think aphrodite or venus i'm not sure which nomenclature they used for that but i really want to try that fragrance actually as well if i had to choose an, an argos fragrance to get first it probably would not be this one would probably be like one of their other ones uh, but regardless if you like the notes I would highly suggest you try this brand out if you're able to do so I do think that they have discovery sets as well but all in all they're a pretty interesting brand and if you like a really beautiful bottle design they have some really amazing options as well Next up is arguably one of the biggest launches of this month so far. This is from Kaali. This is their Young Bougie Marshmallow 81 fragrance. This is basically their continuation in the gourmand category. So they have they had Young Passage Gelato. Now this is another gourmand fragrance, Young Bougie Marshmallow. And to be honest, I very much am interested in trying this out. This is inspired by Strawberry Marshmallow, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, obviously we have like the quintessential strawberry fragrance in the form of Burberry Her, right? But I don't really have a lot of other strawberry fragrances in my collection besides that one. Um, and I love the idea of a strawberry marshmallow that sounds really, really delicious. And this perfume has top notes of pink apple, Italian lemon, freesia, nectarine, blossom at the top, and then a heart of orange blossom water, pink marshmallow, strawberry, and coconut flakes, and a base of whipped vanilla, raspberry sugar, floral mus musk, and broxen, and the Kaali signature note. So, uh, Mona Catan, the founder of Kaali has come out and said that they now incorporate the signature Kaali uh, DNA into all their fragrances. So that's what they're referring to when they call about when they talk about the Kaali signature note. And yeah, I'm actually really interested in trying this out. Something that I really think is amazing about Kaali is that they come out with miniature versions of all their fragrances in the same packaging, just mini. So when you see this full size bottle, you will also be able to get the 10 milliliter smaller version of each fragrance that they have which I think is really considerate. A lot of brands do travel sprays and Mona Catan has come out and said that it doesn't really make a lot of sense for them profit-wise profit to do the small bottles, but she just still wants to do it because she knows how much the customers love it. And I think it just goes to show that at the end of the day, Kaali, they're very customer driven. They're very focused on what their audience wants. And I think that is a wonderful thing to see, especially in a very saturated marketplace that her brand is so focused on their customer and their customers needs and wants. I think that's wonderful. So this is definitely something I would be interested in trying. I haven't decided yet if I want to outright blind buy it because I might be tempted to do that, not gonna lie, or just wait until I can try it in store because this is something I'm very interested in, but there are some other releases coming up in this video that I'm definitely wanting to try as well. So there's a lot in this video that's noteworthy, especially if you love gourmands. Next up, we have a new release from Afnon. This is 9pm Rebel, and this is a perfume that was announced, I believe, around uh, the time of Beauty World in Dubai, which just concluded, but we have top notes of Mandarin, Pineapple, and Granny Smith Apple, a mid of Cedarwood, Oak Moss, and Vanilla, and then a base of Caramel, Dry Woods, Ambergris, and Musk. This will likely be a pass for me, and let me tell you why. I 
I think I'm very particular with notes of um, apple and pineapple because to me those notes can sometimes lean a little bit too masculine and this is something that I would love to try a decant of but I won't most likely will not be attempting to blind by, blind by it because I feel like this could go either way it's meant to be a unisex fragrance but my concern with this one is that the, those notes will lean a little bit too masculine for me and yeah, it's probably not going to be something I'm super interested in trying out, but if you're a guy and this sounds really interesting to you, definitely check it out. Next, we have another exciting new release by Ariel Shoshana. This is going to be their fourth fragrance, and this will be called Tuesday. This is a fresh, soft, spicy perfume. This perfume will have notes of Moroccan mint, jasmine tea, guava, basil, ginger, gunpowder tea, coconut water, eucalyptus, and vetiver. This perfume is something that has been so exciting to me for quite some time now. I've known about this release. I am so excited about this one. I go over to Ariel Shoshana a lot. If you don't know, Ariel Shoshana is a fragrance boutique located in the DC area, and I go over there quite often, and I was talking to Katri and Ari, the founders of the brand and the store, and they teased this to me. They kind of hinted at it for quite some time, and they told me about the notes, and I was very, very interested in when it would come out and now it's coming out and I'm so excited and rest assured you will be seeing me talk about this perfume when I get my hands on it. I am so excited about this fragrance and yeah I mean I don't have a lot of mint fragrances in my collection in fact I don't really think I have any. It's rare that you find a mint perfume that's more unisex or you know not super masculine so I'm very excited about this release and you will you will be seeing me talk about this talk about this perfume and also the bottle design looks so beautiful and yeah overall I'm super excited about this fragrance as you can tell. Next up we have some new fragrances by the brand O Boticario. If I'm mispronouncing this I do apologize but first we have Lily Gardenia. Now Lily Gardenia will have notes of bergamot, mandarin, orange blossom, and pear at the top, a mid of gardenia and a white floral bouquet, and then a base of like tonic notes, musk, sandalwood, cashmere, amber, and cedar. Then they have another release. This is more gourmand. This is Glamour Secrets Black Intense, and this will have top notes of mandarin, orange, peony, lily, a mid of raspberry, cereal, plum, jasmine, and tiare flower, as well as heliotrope, and then a base of praline, vanilla, amber, sandalwood, patchouli, and musk. Not gonna lie, out of the two, I am very intrigued by the latter, especially since they have that cereal note in here. It's not enough for me to blind buy it, but I will be keeping an eye out to see what other people are saying about it, because I don't think I've ever seen a fragrance that has so much diversity when it comes to floral notes, when it comes to gourmand notes, and yeah, and cereal because they have praline, they have vanilla, they have raspberry and those, and they have the citruses. So those are traditionally gourmand notes as well, but they have cereal paired with that as well as florals. So I'm really curious about how this would actually smell like. So this is very intriguing. I don't know if I'd risk blind buying it, but I'm curious to see what people will be saying online about this one. Next, we have a new gourmand collection by Theodore's Calatinas. Theodore's Calatinas is a Greek perfume brand, and they are brilliant at coming out with affordable niche gourmands that are so delicious, so photorealistic. I love their stuff, and I have so many of their fragrances. I think that they're one of the most common fragrances in my collection. I have a ton from them, and I'll definitely be interested in checking some of these out for sure, but they have a trio of three new fragrances that are launching. So these fragrances include Cinnamon Rolls, Pistachio Latte, and Bubblegum Factory. So let's go through the notes individually. Cinnamon Rolls has notes of cinnamon, sugar, butter, vanilla glaze, and Melo Macarona, which is a Greek cookie. I have not tried it yet, but that's what they have in the fragrance. Pistachio Latte is a perfume with notes of fresh pistachio, pistachio nut, and milk. And then finally, 
Bubblegum Factory is going to be a fragrance with notes of gum base, sugar, Balinese strawberry, and vanilla. So it's kind of interesting that we're seeing a lot of gourmand-leaning strawberries come out. Um, it's an interesting trend to see. Um, out of all these fragrances, I mean, yes, out of this collection of three fragrances, I will say the two that I'm most interested in would be Bubblegum Factory and Cinnamon Roll. If I had to choose one, it would be Cinnamon Roll. That's the one I'm most intrigued by. I'll do my best to get decant bottles of these um, into my hands so I can actually do reviews for you on these because as you, as you know, I love Theodore's Calatinas. They have some amazing creations. I will say uh, one of these frag fragrances does have the butter note. Something to be aware of when you're trying Theodore's Calatinas perfumes is that they have a very signature um, gourmand butter note that some people really like like me, I really love that. Some people don't like it as much. So definitely take advantage of some decants online. There are many available, there are many sources available that you can go to. Also take advantage of their discovery sets. They do have discovery sets available. And if you're comfortable with blind buying this, I would say this is an okay brand to do it with uh, since their fragrances are super affordable. They're about $55. So it's a fun way to kind of like pick a few fragrances up. Uh, you can definitely mix and match, try some of the Theodore's Calatinas perfumes that are a little bit uh, established and some that are new like these. But uh, yeah, I would definitely Definitely be wary of the uh, butter note as someone who has many, many, many Theodore's Calatina scents. I can definitely say with certainty that is the note that might be a little bit polarizing to some people, but I personally happen to love it. But the two fragrances that I'm definitely excited about would be the bubblegum one because I don't because I don't think I've ever smelled something similar like that from Theodore's Calatinas and the cinnamon roll, which sounds delightful. Uh, pistachio, I mean, I know people love pistachio. For me, I'm a, a little bit picky with the pistachio fragrances that I tend to really go for, and I feel like I have enough pistachio fragrances already, but I do not have a cinnamon roll fragrance just yet, so I'm super excited about this release too. Next up is something that's really interesting. So if you're into sportswear, if you're into um, streetwear, this might be something to take note of. So Cody has launched an Adidas Vibes collection, and essentially you have all these fragrances, um, and they are partnering with a few different people. So they have Ava Max affiliated with this, gymnast Nia Dennis, and athlete Sasha Zoya. Um, and yeah, it seems pretty interesting. So let's go through the fragrances. They have Fougere, um, they have Chill Zone, which is going to be a Fougere Ambery perfume with key notes of lavender and vanilla. Then they have uh, Full Recharge. This is a Fougere green fragrance with clary sage and cedar leaf. Um, then they have Energy Drive, which features key notes of pink pepper and cardamom. Spark Up has notes of pink pepper, orange, geranium, and lemon. Get Comfy has notes of mandarin and vanilla. Happy Feels has notes of jasmine and grapefruit. And yeah, it seems like a pretty interesting release. Um, this is the first time I've seen um, a sportswear brand that's like fo so focused on sports come out with a fragrance line like this and I think that because these fragrances look a little bit simplistic they're gonna be really great options for people who are athletes who are working out in the gym on a regular basis I mean I go to the gym and I do like to wear perfume in the gym occasionally but I'm probably not gonna go for something that's like super complex or super like um how do I say? I'm probably not going to go for like my super niche perfumes if I'm going to the gym. I'm just going to wear a freshie. And based on these fragrances, they seem non-offensive. They seem pretty, you know, freshies. Um, and I think this is a good release. I think this is a good option. A lot of fragrance people work out. So I think this is a great way of incorporating, um, you know, fitness and sportswear into the fragrance world. So I definitely think this is a good release. Am I going to buy these fragrances? Probably not. <laughs> not going to lie. I'm probably not going to get these, but this is something to note, and it's interesting to see um, mainstream pop culture, or not pop culture, but mainstream sports kind of like expand a little bit into fragrance. I think that's really interesting to see. Next up, we have a new release that I actually saw on Instagram. This is called uh, Pine by Stora Skugan. So this is like a very kind of um, up and coming brand. I see their bottles like 
pop up every now and then on social media. So this is going to be a perfume that's woody, aromatic, and green in terms of accords, but the only note listed here is pine. Now, I have a few things to say about that. I think that as someone who already has a lot of fragrances, I'm probably not looking for another one note fragrance. That's not something that's I'm too interested in getting. Um, but I can see this being an interesting gift or an interesting fragrance to acquire for someone who doesn't necessarily have a lot of fragrances, but might be an outdoorsy person. They might be looking for something that does have like that aromatic smell to it. Since this fragrance really doesn't have that much to offer besides just one note, this is not appealing to me, but I can recognize myself not being the target demographic for this perhaps. So while this is a pass, this might be something that you might be interested in getting. So let me know, have you tried much from this brand? If so, what would you recommend? Next up, we have a perfume by Confessions of a Rebel. This is called Cherry Bomb. This will have notes of cherry, black cherry, liquor, strawberry, praline, amber, and vanilla. Not gonna lie, I don't know if I'll get this fragrance because to be honest, it's not giving me anything. It's not really giving me anything new. I feel like cherry has been regurgitated so much um, and personally, I don't really find myself interested in cherry fragrances unless they're bringing something new and interesting to the table. If they're, you know, doing something in a different way, sure, let's try it out. But so many fragrances lean very close to the lost cherry DNA that's been popularized by Tom Ford. And because of that, I find myself being very wary of cherry fragrances. There are some amazing cherry fragrances that I have in my collection that I've encountered. Um, but I'm very picky about them, so gotta be honest, I'm not sure if this is something that I'm super interested in at all, but this might be interesting if you don't have a cherry fragrance already, or if you're obsessed with cherry fragrances and you want another one. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. Altogether, I feel like we have some really solid new releases here. I'm excited about several of these. Let me know if anything piqued your interest. I, for one, am super looking forward to Ariel Shoshana's new fragrance, which will be amazing, I'm sure. Then we have Kay Ollie's new fragrance, which is also really interesting. And finally, Theodore's Calatinas. So those would be my top three. Let me know if there's anything that you're really excited about or if there's, or if there's anything that you're passionate on. Let's have a discussion in the comments. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.